Hi, it's the 8th of November, plenty of news, let's get straight into it. Rishi Sunak has been urged to look at universal basic income to protect Brits from future crises. So my take on this is free money will have you jumping through many hoops and doing things you would never have dreamt of beforehand. The central banks themselves may soon need a gigantic bailout. So I'll keep saying it, protect yourself, Go and do your own research, have a look at where you can invest your money, etc, etc. Um, and um, yeah, there's something that's going to happen soon, so um, please protect yourselves. The Bank of England risks a repeat of the mini budget bond market chaos, uh, city traders warn. So as I've just alluded to in a previous article, please, please just, uh, yeah, the time is now. Jeremy Hunt plots a £10 billion tax grab from the better off. So they want us to be taxed into oblivion so that we accept the UBI, the CBDCs and the digital ID. And once you've done all that, you're the slave. Brits turn to credit cards and loans to cover basics as the cost of living bites. 17% of British adults have no savings to cope with rising living costs. UK restaurants and coffee prices rise by 26% in two years. Soon enough, you'll only have Starbucks, McDonald's, KFC, and Costa, and Pizza Hut left. Waitrose claim it is better stocked than some rivals after reports of empty shelves. So, um, yeah, there was empty shelves all in the US a few months ago, and uh, I think it's coming here now. In bankrupt Lebanon, Locals are mining Bitcoin and buying groceries with Tether as $1 is now worth 15 cents. Squeezed UK Xmas shoppers face soaring delivery costs. I've been seeing that a lot where it used to be uh, you won't pay your fee if it was over £25, it's now doubled and so on and so forth. Or the fee has increased, so it might have been £4.95, now it's £6.95. So um, yeah. The UK confirms it will now it will not insure ships carrying rusky oil. UK's gone mental, I've got to say it. EU and UK energy bills smashed their record high. Demand for air fryers rockets by 3,000% due to the cost of living crisis. There we go again, two or three now articles mentioning that. In Vietnam, gas or petrol stations, as uh, we call them, start to close due to shortages. So keep your uh, tanks topped up. I would never go below half a tank because you just don't know when they're going to suddenly just say, right, that's it, you're on it, you're on gas rationing. The Japanese could be asked to cut winter power usage, yet another country. So there you are. And all these countries tend to be westernized. UK rural areas are urged to prepare for winter flooding. Now, this has been happening in Australia recently, and my opinion is they want you all in those lovely dystopian cities. The big sea country, um, uh, a firm from there has ploughed billions into lithium exploration in Argentina. So they're trying to take over all the world's minerals. The UK property market is plunging, says the Halifax Bank. Now, there's been lots of articles this last few weeks uh, saying the housing market's going to plummet by 30%. Americans are now moving to Mexico at a record pace due to remote working possibilities. And finally, police in five nations see a way to use facial recognition safely and effectively. That phrase, as we know, that's been going around for the last two and a half years. So it's now being applied to facial recognition. And the five nations are France, Brazil, the Netherlands, Sweden, and New Zealand. So please pass this on to as many as you can. Please, please research yourself. The, most of the articles will be linked. The ones that aren't, you'll have to do a search on because they might, um, I know YouTube would probably get rid of my channel. They did that previously. So um, I'm not gonna do that. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.